Okay, y'all. Time for my third John Carpenter game with the Must Be Millionaire Family Entertainment Edition. Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. And like the prior two John Carpenter games before, I'm going junior sport. Excellent. You've chosen to use your sporting knowledge to boost your bank account. I bet you're confident in winning huge amounts of money, so let's get the first five easy questions out of the way. Okay. Right, here's your first question for 100 pounds. 100 quid. Which is a sports person? Elastoplast, Forecast, Gymnast, Belfast. Good start. That's the right answer. <laughs> Question number two. Which of these three is Freddie Bliss? Okay, 200. Comedy known as Freddie Bliss, this man's real first name. Andrew, Arthur, Arnold, Albert. It's Andrew. That's a picture of uh, Andrew Flintoff. So. <laughs> now you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this three hundred pound question. For three hundred quid. Which sport two players officially stop for tea? Golf, baseball, football, cricket. You wouldn't yeah. want to give me a Answer this yeah, for uh, first clap for test cricket, it's basically when the two sides flip over, either when a team declares the innings or they're all out. So, question number four is for 500 quid. Okay, for 500 pounds. Which terms are also used for the flip of booth called the one two? Window pass, door pass, wall pass, curtain pass. It's a wall pass. Very well, Brad. That's the right answer. For a thousand pounds. What's the perfect term is who bats first in cricket matches? Drawing straws, tossing a coin, drawing dice, cutting cards. It's tossing a coin. Both captains speed up and they flip a coin, whoever gets it gets a side either to bat first or bowl first. Question number six. So remember, you still have all three lifelines remaining. For two thousand pounds, what color is associated with Liverpool Football Club? Red, blue, green, black. It's red. Very well played. That's the right answer. For two thousand pounds. <laughs> Very well done. You've yet to touch any of your three lifelines. Mm -hmm. For four thousand pounds. What sort of, what sort of race might a catamaran be used? Motorcycle, car, horse, boat. You'll lose a thousand pounds if you get this wrong. Are you sure you want to play this? Yes. Can tell you that was the right answer. You just won. Eight thousand pounds, the halfway point of this game. What she sports most likely to feature a time trial? Golf, basketball, cricket, cycling. It's cycling. If this is wrong, you lose three thousand pounds. Yeah, time trial is pretty much a race. Sixteen thousand. 
Boise's boxing waist is the heaviest. Flyweight, welterweight, middleweight, featherweight. It's middleweight. Middleweight, welterweight, featherweight, flyweight from heaviest to lightest. There's also the armweight division, which is below flyweight. Mm -hmm. If you can give me a tenth correct answer, you guarantee yourself thirty-two thousand pounds. I must remind you though, at this stage, if you do give me a wrong answer, you drop right back to one thousand. Have a look at this question. Take your time. Tell me if you want to play. Thirty thousand pounds. What are you not allowed to do with a ball in the game of netball? Carry it, hold it, throw it, bounce it. No, to carry it. Well, this is a massive moment. If the answer you've given me is right, you'll have guaranteed yourself thirty-two thousand. And it is the right answer. You are playing. Sixty-four thousand. What's his Chris Muscle's credit to the bowler in the scorebook? Hit the ball twice, run out, hit wicket, handle the ball. I believe it's a hit wicket. I know you have nothing to lose, but are you sure that is the answer you want to go with? Yes. You have thirty-two thousand pounds. You had nothing. I believe hit the ball twice and handle the ball goes to the closest fielder. And run out is to the person who uh, throws it to the stumps. One hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. It's a lot of money, and it's what I could be giving you if you can give me the right answer to the next question. You do stand to lose the thirty-two thousand you just won if you do give me a wrong answer at this point. Here comes question number twelve. For a hundred twenty-five thousand, which event did Shelley Rudman win a silver medal at the two thousand six Winter Olympics? Luge, speed skating, curling, skeleton. I'd be the skeleton. Well, you could have away with there's a rock There's a question about of her of at what place did you finish in the skeleton, which is second. It's one of those very rare few. It's one of the rare ones where, like, there's a picture that shows it, and then there's another question later on. So. You could be about to lose ninety-three thousand pounds if you give me the wrong answer to this question. If you give me a correct answer, you'll win a quarter of a million pounds. Now, I would much rather that happen. The very best of luck to you. Let's have a look at question number thirteen of a possible fifteen. For two hundred fifty thousand pounds. In which sport is the Dutchman Jan Verhaas an international referee? Darts, basketball, snooker, football. He's a snooker ref. Right, this is serious business. If it said Bruce play Spendley play or play Russ Bray, it'd be darts. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you. It's basketball. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, 500,000. And which of these is this man regarded to be the most famous sportsman of all time? Triathlon, skateboarding, parachuting, yachting. It's skateboarding. I must say, I love it when That's a picture of uh, Tony Hawk, so. You have 250,000. You now have 500,000 pounds. Fantastic! <laughs> Well, 
I'm not sure I've ever asked someone a million pound question without them having already used up all of their lifetime. But you do now have a real chance to take and to do. And you might as well take advantage of the right decision. Let's hope Possible third John Carpenter game on this DVD. In which event did Australia's Yana Pickman win gold at the 2006 Commonwealth Games? 400 meter hurdles, long jump, javelin, 1500 meters. At least you won the 400 meters, Chris. Yes. Amazing that you decided to play the million pound question game. You could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead you are walking away with one million pounds. Number three. As I've said twice before when I get these John Carpenter games, the draw's been dead for almost 16 years now. John Carpenter game number three is in the books. Okay. Thanks for watching.